Hey everyone, how you doing? So just a very quick video to show you this stunning spider which is now molted. And this is my Harpactria pork ropes, the golden blue leg baboon. You can see the gold abdomen and uh, le you know legs and obviously the tips are the wonderful blue colour. I knew this was going to molt is the actual spider when a very dark colour, almost uh, almost black to be honest. And unfortunately, it's not coming out, but hopefully you can still you can see still see it quite well there. Get the camera to focus. So you can see the uh, the awesome coloration there. And hopefully, once this spider. Uh, hardens up it will come out a bit more. I'm going to just uh, quickly show you um, how I'm keeping it for anyone that's interested in, in getting one of these. You don't want to buy a spider this expensive and have it die of course. So I'm keeping it in just like a small Tupperware for now until it gets a bit bigger in which I'll be rehousing it in a enclosure from the spider's lair. And I filled it halfway with substrate. Uh, I did a video, an unboxing video which I'll put a link to that so you can actually see the unboxing video and how I set it up. But um, this is a cork, piece of cork uh, bark which I made like a little burrow for it which it completely ignored and uh, has just blocked off. And it's got a, a burrow down here and this basically runs around and it's using the gap inside there I believe as like a, a hide if you will. Um, but obviously with the, only the one entrance which is down there. You can see it a bit better there. Freshly malted. Uh, it molted just inside the burrow, and I did manage to get the malt out, uh, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, and as for keeping it, like for feeding it, I've been feeding it um, with a waxworm uh, pupa, in fact, um, because they're basically completely defenseless, and it's an easier uh, target for these spiders to take down. But next malt in uh, probably uh, the next feeding video, I will do of this in probably about a week's time, which is hardened up and whatnot. I will be feeding it probably um, like a small cricket or something. So hopefully you get a nice takedown video if it's nice and hungry. And after uh, the moisture, I just very lightly sprayed just the one, not even half of the enclosure. As you can see, it's probably like a third of it um, that I just uh, very lightly spray over the one side, keeping this side dry. Uh, and I keep it by a very, very, very low heat mat. Um, I don't like using heat mats, but this is just... Just this one side, it just keeps this part dry and uh, warm, and it actually has built the burrow on that side, so it, it prefers it warm, um, keeping it at kind of about 24, 25 degrees um, during the day, and then I'll drop it at night to uh, it's about 18, 18, 19 ish. So it's a bit of a drop at night when I turn off the heat in my room for my spiders, and uh, obviously they all they all thrive and all do really really well off that so but the heat mat is not right up to it it's kind of you know a bit of a distance away and it just gets a, a bit of a thing you know a bit of the temperature i don't overheat this spider i don't want to risk killing it but i don't want to keep it cool so it's a bit of bit of warmth for it um until like i said it's in its own enclosure um as for the actual malt it is very very small There you go. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. You can see the. Uh, you can see the blue on it a bit more. It's not really that clear with this size, to be honest. But you can see it looks more like I don't know how we could pick it up. But there's a tinge of orange on the side, but the actual underside of the spider looks uh, if you look at like the carapace and things if you can see the carapace but it looks more black not blue black if I can't you can just see it just here on the left where my nail is so yeah it, it did go very very dark um, and obviously I cannot fix that Far too small. I will have a go at sexing it at a uh, at a later date, but for now, 
I want to say classic as in sixth. So there you go anyway guys, that's a quick look at my, actually the single most expensive tarantula that I have, even though it's only at this size, probably about an inch. Um, you, I've actually looked to buy uh, some more of these, because I do want to get some more, and I went to buy one only two days ago, uh, and they were sold out of them, they didn't actually have any available. So I'm going to be keeping my eye out for them, and hopefully I'm going to be getting a few more of these. Um, as soon as I can, really, because I like to get a few of these in my collection. So there we go. Um, and I'd like to just add a note that the temperatures I've given are only estimate. Like I said, the heat maps up closer, like yeah, you because know, they're about twenty-five. But um, obviously, with the distance, it's going to be slightly cooler than that. But uh, like I said, you, I basically keep these kind of like a wood, like an OBT or something. I just keep them mid twenties. Low to mid twenty, low to mid twenties. Uh, they seem to be fine. As you can see it's molting and that. So, I would do um, a video in a week's time, which is hardened up, and hopefully out and about. I'll try and get it to feed out on the uh, silk up at the top. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's this video done. Not quite as quick as I thought. I have rambled a little bit, which I apologise for. But I wanted to have a look at the spider while I can and talk about it. Uh, to hopefully answer any questions about it. So, if you have any uh, other questions about this particular species, uh, please let me know. And I will do my best to answer it as honestly as I can. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Please check back for more videos. If you aren't subscribed, please do. And um, yeah, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon.